the super poor. The world lays its exaggerated, broken illusions of who I'm supposed to be on the weary waves of my brain. I find myself torn between my superfluous existence and the struggle of a mind craving tranquility. The world lifted the veil and I can see the nightmare of what we subjectively define as reality being poured into glasses. We drink it to quench our thirst, polluting the magnanimous beauty of our holy souls. The world whispers its dirty secrets into me. I no longer see what I want to see. Instead, I float with the current, swept with the rest of similarly confused souls, ready to merge into the sea of self-loathing and misery. The world no longer paints my dreams in colors. They are irrelevant. Everything is black and white just to further spite my confusion. Dichotomy is the only answer to the myriad of questions flooding my curiosity. The world tells me I am worthless, and I am. I accept your gentle embrace. I revel in my own meaninglessness, a nobody screaming to no one. I will never amount to anything, and my life is no more than a grain of sand in your vast desert. The world tells me I no longer matter. I don't. My grey matter is only a chunk of rotting flesh waiting to be embraced by your mercy. Death. Even these abstract ideas thrown around in filigree don't matter. After all, they only perpetuate the illusion of me. The world tells me I'm not myself and I believe it. I am the product of your words, the spitting image of your broken physique. Whenever I look into the mirror, I see you. None of these thoughts are mine. They're all yours, beaten into me over a century, thousands of years of evolution. And here I stand, completing your image. The world tells me to get perspective so I do. I see myself as a caricature hunched over these blank pages pretending I know what I'm writing about. A heavy sigh leaves my body and I can't help but laugh at my own ridiculous, petty self. I take a step further back and I watch myself, watching myself. One idiot looking at the first one, laughing. I turn my head and there is an infinity of myself, all of them cracking up. It's pathetic, because I am the one drowning in my own mediocrity while I find myself laughing to infinity. Perspective my ass. Hey world, I'm writing this super poem for you. I'm writing this super poem with my life every day when I go to work and pick my dreams away. I'm writing this super poem with an exaggerated sense of importance because you are all so important to me. I'm writing this super poem with super ink and super time because clearly, absolutely, surely, convincingly I spend every nanosecond worshipping your infinite grace and surreal qualities. I'm writing this poem with super confusion because the fusion of your muse with my poetics can only scramble together stubs of rhyme and rhythm. Repetition comes naturally when you teach me that empathy means sympathy for the machine. I'm writing this super poem to praise your ultimate super creation, the machine. Machine, whose arms are molded 
to lovingly wrap themselves around me. The right arm, religion and school, strips me bare until I'm left, left servient, ready to praise the left one, politics and consumerism. Machine, whose eyes are never closed, gaze into the vastness of our beings and swallow the forests of our souls. We are always on the look for more, always vigilant and never ever satisfied. Machine, whose arteries are the railroads, roads infested with locomotives, cars speeding towards their own meaningless end, blowing and honking their horns, for they can't see through the thick veil of oozing smog. Machine, whose veins are the internet, complex networks of web, trapping millions of disillusioned shards as they desperately try to define their own humanity. Machine, whose brain is capital, the almighty dollar, euro, pound, yen, ruble, all rushing towards banks to fuck, sweat, come, orgasm, birthing interest, famine, debt, and helplessness. Machine, whose soul is war, Greedily consuming lives to satisfy the eyes, arteries, veins, and the brain. It's all in vain when death becomes a statistician. Tragedy is numbed by the number, and the never-ending slumber continues. Machine, whose everything became my everything, I can only find myself at ease when I please with the entirety of my being. I'm writing this super poem under the influence of a beat generation because I find it resonates well with my vibrations. And I'm crawling, crawling, crawling towards your acceptance, clawing, clawing, clawing through everything I am. Hey world, I'm writing this super poem because I'm tired beaten, broken by the endless shreds you create while I try to melt into the sun. <laughs>